Welcome to chemistry. We'd love to take you on a tour. Right this way. In this lab, we normally have our general chemist, Jacob? Hi, Rebecca. Are you eating a pickle in the lab? Um, yeah. Also, is that a picture of yourself? Excuse me? I am learning to date myself. Avery, you don't have safety glasses here. Oh, thank you. And you don't have the right lab attire. You should have long pants, not shorts, long sleeve t-shirt, and goggles. Oh, uh, okay. I'll do better next time. Good. Hey, Morgan, come look at this. I can't, Marissa. I'm drinking my coffee. I have to stay outside the lab. What are you doing? What? You smell good. are never supposed to taste chemicals, and when you smell them, you don't smell them directly. Stop, go with the lab. Go, go. Take it back. Wesley! Don't be stupid, Morgan. Avery, what are you doing? You should pull up below everyone's eye level. You should always clean up spills while a professor or lab assistant know immediately. If you or someone you know is experiencing pregnancy, please let a professor or a lab assistant know immediately. Yo, Rebecca! Hey! Hope your summer break was good. Congrats on your marriage. Thanks. Hey, let us know if you get knocked up. Before beginning your laboratory exercise, you should always check the safety information on any chemical you will be using. This can be found on the safety data sheet. You can just Google SDS for the name of the chemical you will be using and familiarize yourself with any potential hazards. Another important thing to notice before beginning a laboratory exercise is any other hazard information. This safety information is very important to note. There are two different hazard classification systems in use, the NFPA and the GHS. The NFPA and the GHS use opposite numbering systems to identify the level of hazard of a chemical. This can be hard to remember and confusing to use, but I have a quick and simple way to remember the difference. NFPA has more letters. So higher letters, higher number, more hazard. GHS has fewer letters. So less letters, less numbers, more hazard. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the NFPA diamond and the GHS symbols so you can enjoy a safe laboratory experience. Wait! It's dangerous to put your face over a heating or reactant substance. Okay. Okay, we need to put these together, but I don't know which one to add to which. Uh, it doesn't matter, just pick it in. Okay. Oh, wait, stop! <laughs> you guys forgot. When adding concentrated acids, you should do what you ought to and add your acid to your water. If visitors come to visit with you, that is a wonderful thing. You have friends. But if you do, go out in the hall and meet them. A professor must be present on the floor when a student works in the laboratory, unless you have completed organic one or quantitative chemical analysis. Hey Rebecca, will you pass me that beaker of hydrochloric acid? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, it, it has like a crack on the side, but I'm sure it's That'll fine. Okay. Oh my gosh, Rebecca! <gasps> what do I do? Don't touch broken glass, because if you do touch broken glass, you'll get a little piece of glass in your hand that you've been to the hospital several times to get removed, and yet there is still glass in your hand. So don't be an idiot. Don't touch broken glass. When you walk into your lab, you want to make sure to check your surroundings and know where everything is, such as the fire extinguisher, the first aid kit, and the chemical spill treatment kit. Also, the shower. 